BTEC Applied Science Unit 3 and this is my second video about enzymes learning a bit more about enzymes now what is an enzyme it's a biological catalyst you should remember from GCSE chemistry a catalyst is something which speeds up a chemical reaction but it doesn't get used up now there are lots of enzymes in our digestive system uh, as well as other places and they help to break down our food before we can absorb it into our bodies the three types of food uh, carbohydrates are broken down by an enzyme called carbohydrates proteins are broken down by an en enzyme called protease and fats are broken down by an enzyme called lipase an enzyme is a biological catalyst it speeds up chemical reactions these large molecules would break down anyway but it would take much much longer to do so the enzymes speed it up now watch this animation a couple of times see that green thing goes in there and then it gets broken into bits and it comes out again okay now the thing which is broken down is called the substrate and the substrate is broken down into simpler molecules and then the big blue thing is the enzyme now what happens to the enzyme uh, and the answer is nothing before and after it's exactly the same the enzyme doesn't get used up it's a catalyst but the substrate is broken down could this enzyme break down different substrates or can it only break down one substrate? Well, you should be able to figure that out if you look at the animation. Here's a, another diagram showing the same thing. The substrate is the green stuff. Uh, it attaches to the enzyme, some part of the enzyme called the active site. Uh, it's broken down and the products come out and the enzyme can do its job again here's an example sucrose is broken down into fructose and glucose by an enzyme and the, there you see the yellow sucrose molecule goes into the enzyme and it's broken down and we get glucose and fructose released okay uh, how does it work well basically what an enzyme does is it makes the activation energy a lot smaller chemical reactions often need a little bit of energy to get going if I want something to burn then I need to set fire to it with a match so I give it a little bit of energy and then I get much more energy out and the energy to get it going is called the activation energy if you look at the graph the activation energy is a lot less if there is an enzyme involved the activation energy is the energy needed to get a reaction going this is less in the presence of an enzyme the active site will determine the function of the enzyme uh, here's some hydrogen peroxide We'll, we'll talk later about an experiment with enzymes and hydrogen peroxide and the hydrogen peroxide fits nicely into the active site and then it can be broken down the enzyme which does this is called catalase and this enzyme breaks down H2O2 into water and oxygen and you'll notice that this molecule the hydrogen peroxide molecule fits into the active site the shape of the active site is very important okay each enzyme does a particular job because its active site has a particular shape like a lock and key okay the substrate fits into the active site and no other substrate will so each enzyme does a particular job the structure of enzymes there's uh, different levels of structure the simplest level of structure is called the primary structure which is just the long chain of amino acids the polypeptides we talked about in the last video that's the simplest primary structure 
The secondary structure, these polypeptides can be arranged into things called alpha helixes or beta pleated sheets. I'll show you what they are in a second. And then the tertiary structure is these sheets are all folded together into a 3D structure. So here's the primary structure. It's just a big long chain of amino acids, a polypeptide. The secondary structures, there's a, it's called alpha helix, which is kind of coiled up like a spiral, and then your beta pleated sheets. And these are held together by hydrogen bonds. You should remember what hydrogen bonds are. You did them last year. If you can't remember, then look it up. Do a little bit of revision on hydrogen bonds. And you should remember that they're not particularly strong. Okay? So you've got between the hydrogen on the NHs and the oxygens on these Os with the double bond, there are hydrogen bonds holding these secondary structures together. And as I said, they're not particularly strong. The uh, tertiary structure, it's globular, it's like a ball, a globe, and these secondary structures are tangled together into a blob and these can be held together by other types of bond, for example, ionic bonds. Okay, primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, and then a quaternary structure where the blobs are stuck together. And these are the structures of enzymes. What do enzymes do in our bodies? Uh, give an example of a reaction that they are involved in. I've talked about several in this video. Uh, what does the enzyme catalase do? What is meant by the active site of an enzyme? What is meant by the activation energy for a reaction? What effect do enzymes have on the activation energy? And then describe, be able to sketch the primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structure of enzymes. Okay, make sure you can answer these questions. If you can't, have another look at the video.